my name is mohit and guys this is my fourth video on vitamin b12 deficiency i've done a series of uh, videos on uh, b12 d3 deficiencies and uh, the reason is if god hands you a lemon make a lemonade dale carnegie or in every adversity lies the seed of greater or equal opportunity napoleon hill so i'm actually turning my bad experience into a learning experience for you guys b12 deficiency is a serious thing it's a very serious thing as would testify the guys in my group called these pictures are actually posted in a whatsapp group and uh, the name of the group is dizzy vertigo imbalance very appropriately those guys will testify how difficult times they are actually going through anyways what is the role of vitamin b12 is used to make red blood cells properly in proper shape and proper size it's responsible for the synthesis of uh, dna and for nervous system health it's a nerve and tonic okay so if you suffer from it, i'm going to keep it a make it a very short video guys uh, so how do you recognize a vitamin b12 deficiency over the over 2019 2020 2021 I have spoken to people around the globe. I'm not here to boast, but I, around the globe, I've spoken to umpteen people. I've seen umpteen reports. Okay, I'm not uh, a medical doctor, but very soon, fortunately, I'll be a certified nutritionist. Anyways, coming back to the topic, let's not not go off the track. So, what are the signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency? I'm keeping D D3 aside. I'm going to focus only on vitamin B12 deficiency for the moment. Pallor, pale skin, jaundiced skin, yellow skin. That's the first thing you might actually catch. So, as you can see here, okay, see the difference. This this one on the left hand side is right is right, left is right, and right is wrong. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. So this one on the right is actually jaundiced skin, and uh, it's possibly not always a sign of vitamin B12 deficiency. The same you see that there are two uh, faces. Uh, the one on the right is actually there is a pallor there, the jaundiced skin. So that's a symptom. Okay, see the third picture. Uh, jaundiced skin, yellowish skin, yellowish tinge, uh, pale skin, milkish. skin that's a symptom that you are not properly making the red blood cells not making them in the right size maybe they are too big too weak too fragile and uh, yeah that's it the other main symptom of vitamin b12 deficiency is numbness and tingling uh, tingling in your hands and feet especially while sleeping okay so the first picture th- second picture third picture fourth picture are actually uh, saying the same thing weakness now let's talk about weakness so these two ladies girls ladies whatever um uh, have just woken up and they're still feeling tired so feeling tired all the time feeling weak all the time muscle weakness fatigue <coughs> i'm sorry so that's a symptom dizziness now bouts of dizziness or perpetual dizziness uh, as another symptom so you feel light headed disoriented not fe- being able to grab what's going around uh, around you so you're losing touch with the consciousness you're not making too much sense of the surroundings okay so that's dizziness so feeling tired all the time as you can see this this female is actually not able to focus so not able to focus not able to concentrate uh, memory lapses um symptoms like dementia alzheimers okay so you have a hard time doing your work doing your job anything that requires uh, mental concentration effort focus uh you're not going to do it properly okay uh, there are a few pictures i actually missed uh, which were actually lack of focus eyesight eye problems focus problems so things may appear blurry and um that's because even the nerves of the eyes may get get affected so in those days i remember i couldn't stare at a very bright light and if i would look across the road 
I would so focus problems. Uh, things appear blurry. Okay, balance problems. Now the, the this picture right on the top in the middle at the bottom are actually to let you know that you might most people don't, but you might get balance problems. So you may not uh, be walking absolutely straight. You may be walking in a wavy zigzag pattern. Okay, so that's one of the symptoms. And falls may rarely happen, but they can happen. Okay, they're very rare, but they're dangerous. Okay, so this may actually happen if the symptoms actually go unnoticed and untreated, treated for a very long time. Okay, especially if you're elderly. Uh, all right. So, uh, there are few symptoms that I've missed. Uh, glossitis is one of the symptoms where your tongue may be red, swollen, smooth and appear bigger for your mouth. And it may not be having the natural bumps that it's supposed to carry. That's called glossitis. It may even have um, lesions or inflammatory red spots which may actually burn. So, not only numbness and tingling in your hands and feet, some people even report burning in certain parts of the hands and feet. Negative thinking, feeling depressed, feeling anxious. And maybe, maybe I'm battling with the idea. Can actually, can a vitamin B12 uh, deficiency actually cause um, a nervous breakdown to the extent of a panic attack? Because uh, keeping everybody anonymous in the group, there are few people in the group. There are few people who were in the group. I've spoken to so many people and what should I say, 80-90% actually report a panic attack <coughs> sometime or the other. Okay. So, uh, most people report negative thinking pattern um, and uh, even suicidal thoughts. So, basically, nervous system goes for a toss. Okay. Let me just uh, re retrace the images for you. Balance problems, focus problems, memory problems, memory lapses, feeling dizzy, uh, what I go, imbalance, okay, feeling tired, weak, pallor, um, glossitis, uh, negative thinking pattern, insomnia, insomnia, so I was just speaking to somebody, again, keeping the anonymity alive, and that person was telling me that he was uh, sleeping seven hours in a day uh, is now struggling to get four hours. Okay, some people report, uh, many people report of uh, chest tightness, uh, chest pain, palpitations, mm, and give me a minute. Let me just recall if I'm missing anything. Many people report bloating, belching. Mm. Okay, so I can't uh, recall everything right now, but it will actually help if you come to the group, you know, if you be a part of the group, and I'll, I'll write in the description below, in the comments, the first comment below, which I might pin, how do you come in the group, okay? And uh, so guys, I hope this information was actually useful, and um, I would like to tell you that this problem, vitamin B12 deficiency, doesn't come in a day and doesn't go away in a day or a week or a month. You need several months, maybe as much as three to six months to overcome this problem. So guys, connect with me and uh, we'll have a fruitful uh, conversation. You have a, a good day, a good night, a good evening, whatever. Take care. Peace.